Hey everybody, Chris here again. Welcome back to the channel. Always good to have you with us. So today, we're gonna to look at something that I'm very excited to show you. This is something that I've been wanting to show for a little while, and it involves a Colorado 120 megabyte tape backup drive and accelerating its performance. You see, not long ago, I found on eBay for the low price of $9.95, I believe it was, a Colorado FC20 tape backup controller card. And we'll look at it a little closer here in a minute. This is something I could have only dreamed of having back in the day. And there were many times where I installed these drives in customers' computers and thought, wow, wouldn't it be nice to have one of these? And I always asked myself the question, how good are they? Well, today, assuming that this card is good and doesn't cook my machine, we're gonna find out. So let's get right to it. Here we have the box that the controller card came in. And yes, it is new old stock. And yes, I have already opened it up. <laughs> Sorry, we won't be doing an unboxing today. I was really excited to get this, so it's been opened. Anyway, that's the front of the box. And there you can see the spine of the box. And if we flip it over, you can see some other details here. Look at this. FC20 controller, data cable, power, Y cable, and manual, two megabyte tape controller kit. So there you have it. This is in great shape. Eight slash 16 bit controller card. So I guess you could put this in an eight bit system as well as a 16 bit system. And that's kind of cool as well. So there you have it, there's the box. And next we have the card itself. A couple things worth pointing out. There is an internal connector for connecting the internal drives as well as an external connector if you wanted to go ahead and connect an external connection. So that's neat. Also, look at this. You have to feed Molex power into the card. <laughs> and the card actually does come with a Y splitter cable so that you can do that. That's kind of interesting. And you'll also notice over here, as I noted a minute ago, this is both an 8-bit and a 16-bit card. So there's the different speeds that you get depending upon the type of slot that you put this card in. Beyond that, we see a little crystal here and a couple of controller chips on the card as well, as well as some surface mount resistors, I believe, and that very lovely capacitor down there. Oh my, hopefully it's in good shape. Hopefully it doesn't blow up when we power on the system. And while we're here, here's the tape drive itself. So you can see some electronics there. And if we look in the back, our connector is going to be your standard floppy drive connector, since this drive can be used on either a floppy controller or the FC20 controller, which we will hopefully demonstrate today. And there's also a Molex power connector in the back as well, as one would expect. This particular drive is also mounted on drive rails. You can either install it in a three and a half inch slot or in a five and a quarter inch slot. And if you put it in a three and a half inch slot, you basically lose this white faceplate and you have pretty much the inlet for the tape and that's it. And here we have a very nice instruction manual that was included. And you can see here that this was back when we actually had instruction manuals for things, which were nice. And going through the page there, you can see the items required, including the tools needed to install the drive. And it talks a little bit about everything we've seen. We've seen that Y power cable, the card itself. And I didn't show you the uh, connector cable, but it's just a basic connector cable. And that's pretty much it. Talks about turning off the PC, plugging it in, et cetera, et cetera, finding a slot. And once again, you can do either an eight or a 16 bit slot and they lived happily ever after. Now, something else I picked up was a whole slew of new old stock tapes. We can see all of those here and I've actually gone ahead and opened up one of them once again, because I'm impatient, but you can see that there. These are DC 2120 tapes, and I think I bought the whole lot for like $2.99. It's kind of interesting if we take one of these and look at it, that you can see that it's marked with what looks to me like a flea market sticker of $3, and it was reduced from $6, and from there it used to be $14.99. So you can see <laughs> there have been quite a number of reductions in this, but there you have it. This does have a lifetime warranty, so if we have any problems at all today, I will be contacting 3M 
There's even a 1-800 number to call, so that's convenient. And I think there's also an offer in here to get a free tape. If you buy two tapes, you get one free. Wow, the offer applies. Unfortunately, Retro Tech Chris is not getting any free tapes today because as you can see, that offer expired on 9-30-1996. Let's go ahead and launch Colorado Backup for Windows. And shortly after launching it, you can hear the tape backup drive start to click and whir away. And now we see that we have a no-name tape installed. And this is a blank tape. What I'm going to do is come over here to drive C and we'll click OK here. And we're just going to choose two directories for this backup. We'll choose this PSD Win and Sound Blaster 16 directory, which is about 13 kilobytes or 13 megabytes, I should say. From there, we can click OK. And then we can just drag this icon over to the tape. Isn't drag and drop wonderful? So from here, we're going to do a selective copy, which we'll execute now. And we'll give it this very, very impressive volume title. And let's go ahead and hit OK. And let's see how long it takes. And let's see just how good our performance is. And later, we'll compare that to the performance of the FC20 controller, which hopefully is going to be much better. So at this point, it looks like the backup portion is complete. I hear the tape rewinding, which means it's about to do a comparison to ensure that the data was copied properly, which in my experience, more often than not, there were failures when you did a tape backup. So let's see what happens. Okay, look at that. One operation, successful. 11 minutes and 22 seconds, 153 files, 13 megabytes or so, and zero errors. Now, once again, that <laughs> zero errors part is the part I don't always expect with the tape drives, but we're definitely happy about that. Let's go ahead and take this FC20 card for a spin and see what the performance looks like. We can see that we have a busy tape drive followed by a tape error. Since the drive is no longer on the floppy cable, the software is confused. So let's come up here to Options, Tape Drive Configuration, and remove it. And from there, let's go to Options, Tape Drive Configuration, and configure a new tape drive. Let's go ahead and select the tape drive connected to a Colorado Memory Systems tape controller board and do automatic configuration. And it found it! There it is, perfect. So address 180, IRQ6, and DMA2. Perfect, let's click OK. Ha <laughs> ha, listen to that. The drive is seeking, it's been found. Oh, this is wonderful. Tape drive configuration successful. And we can see even that there's one backup on here. Let's go ahead and erase that just so that we can do apples to apples in our time comparison. Utilities, erase, quick, and that will erase that backup. Okay, tape has been erased. That was fast. Now, let's do a similar backup where we will go to drive C and we will select that SB16 and PSD Win folder again for that 13 megabyte backup size. And using our wonderful drag and drop once again, we will drag this over here and we'll say OK. And let's see how long it takes. And there we can see that is complete. Wow, that was a lot faster. We can see that this time the run completed in six minutes, same amount of data processed and zero errors. So I think it's fair to say we got pretty impressive results here, about twice the speed by using the card. So the question becomes, would I have purchased one of these back in the day? You betcha. Okay, well that's what I had for you today. Hope you enjoyed the video. I can't tell you how excited I was to finally get this in the mail and to bring this to life with this lovely FC20 card. Definitely subscribe to the channel.
I've got a lot of content on the way, perhaps even more content in the works, maybe too much content in the works, but I'm having a blast. Uh, the things you see here on this channel are things that I love to do. So hopefully you enjoy them too. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. If not, consider sending me a strong message by pressing that thumbs down button twice. Anyway, that's all for now. Glad you're able to join us. Always enjoy having you along for the ride and we'll see you next time. Bye.